This is why you never touch random caterpillars in the rainforest, people. Oh my god, this is going to hurt. I'm going to sting myself with this venomous and toxic caterpillar that I just found in the rainforest in Brazil. And it looks like it's going to be really painful. Oh my god. Look at those venomous spines. Whenever they are touched, they will inject a venom into my skin, causing a burning sensation. Okay, let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, in just a few seconds I am going to press this caterpillar down on my skin. And whenever I do that, the venom is going to hit me. Let's go in. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, it burns. Ah, oh, damn. Ah. Ah, oh, it's starting to burn. In a few minutes you'll see the effect. Ah. Ooh, that's a spicy one. Oh my god, look, it's starting to swell. Look at all those bumps forming on my arm. It's feeling hot and tingly. Oh god, look at it. I wonder how bad it's going to get. What have I done, ladies and gentlemen? Look at my arm. This is what one caterpillar can do. And it's still burning. Oh my god. Look at the swelling. This is just insane. Whoa. Oh my god, that's just insane. Ah, that's just crazy. Look at it. It keeps growing every minute. Hope it's not going to take over my arm at some point. Ah. This is why you never touch random caterpillars in the rainforest, people. Some of them can do some real damage if you grab them. Oof. What? So, who is this venomous guy anyway? This is Automerus beccheri and it is found in southeastern Brazil, Argentina and Paraguay. They feed on several plants such as banana palm tree, coral tree, Sorokea and more. It seems to have about three or even more generations a year and the caterpillars are very spicy and covered to the brim with sharp venomous spines. If you touch it, they'll certainly learn you a lesson. If you want to see what kind of moth it will become, then subscribe to my channel right now. I'll show you when it turns into a moth because I'll be attempting to raise this caterpillar into a beautiful moth. Subscribe and I hope you enjoy this dangerous beast from the rainforest in Brazil. Gosh, after 10 minutes the swelling is finally going away. <sighs> that was crazy, huh? Bart Coppens, why are you doing this? Are you crazy? Have you lost your mind? Are you irresponsible? The answer is yes, 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 yes. I am an utter, utter moronic clown. Don't try this at home. Don't be like Bart Coppens, the silly YouTube influencer clown. Honk, honk, honk. Don't be like me. I'm so dumb and stupid. But seriously though, the reason I am doing this is because I'm a person who studies butterflies and moths, uh, mainly in captivity. Don't worry, I know it's dangerous to touch some caterpillars in the rainforest. Um, in fact, there's species here that can even be deadly if you touch them. However, I study these creatures for a lifetime. I know which ones are dangerous and which ones are not dangerous. Um, so don't try this at home. I know what I'm doing in general. Second of all, I have a YouTube channel that talks about the conservation of insects and how important they are for their environment. But it's, it's difficult sometimes to get people's attention when it comes to insects. But I noticed there are a few particular things that um, never fail to attract people's attention. 
One of those things is food. People will always be into food. Another one of those things is sex. And the other thing is violence and people getting hurt. Stinging yourself with a toxic caterpillar may be painful, but it's, an, it's a pretty much guaranteed way to get views. As some of you guys may say, well, Bart, that's pathetic. Are you that desperate for views? The answer is yes, because I have a YouTube channel and I really want um, to be able to educate people about uh, the importance and biodiversity of these insects. I have a lot of serious videos that talk about science, that talk about conservation of uh, butterflies and moths. But once in a while you just have to grab people's attention, to draw attention to your content and the things that you are doing, and sometimes in even shallow and irresponsible ways perhaps, which I think is worth it. I don't hurt anyone else, I mainly just hurt myself. Despite that, I knew that this was an Automeris species, Automeris becchieri. In general, Automeris moths are not one of the most dangerous. I can identify them. I identify the caterpillars first, making sure that they are not deadly or lethal before I touch them. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy seeing me suffer. And if you want to see some content that's a little bit more serious and less clickbaity, I advise that you go to my channel and subscribe and Watch the more than thousand insect videos that I've made talking about the environment, talking about nature, conservation and more things. Bye bye, this is Bart Coppens from Brazil.